now it is finally time to commission your properly designed and expertly installed TAGO TS4 system. The entire process can be completed using the TAGO AI app found in the Apple Store and Google Play. Download the TAGO AI app and make sure you download the version with the green leaf icon. Commissioning the system using the AI app requires a stable Wi-Fi connection to the customer's router. Open the app and log in with your installer credentials. If you do not have an account, then select Enroll and fill out all required information. To begin a new installation, tap the plus icon on the upper right of the screen. Fill in the site name and expected turn on date. Under Advanced Options, you can set the tilt and azimuth of the array. Click Next to advance to the next step. A location request will pop up on the screen. The app will use location services to identify the installation. Press Create to complete this part of commissioning. Notice the following commissioning menu screen has a green check mark on the System Info section. This indicates that section is complete. Now it is time to add equipment. Select this option in the menu. Select Scan or Add to begin adding equipment. If you select Scan, the app will start searching for nearby CCAs. This is the recommended option. You can manually add the CCA serial number by tapping the Add option. Let's start with this option since it requires a few more steps. Enter the name of the CCA. Most installers use the location of the device as its name. There are two options for serial number entry. Locate the serial number sticker on the side of the CCA. You can either enter this number into the app or you can select Scan. The Scan option will allow you to scan the serial number barcode using your device's camera. Repeat this process for each additional CCA in the system. Before moving on, enter the number of TIGO access points in the system. Let's continue with the Scan option. Once the scan is complete, you will see a blue bar at the top of the screen indicating that the app has detected a CCA. As before, enter the name of the CCA and the number of taps in the system. Repeat this process for each additional CCA used in the project by selecting the green Add button. Once the Cloud Connect advanced step is complete, tap Add to proceed to the PV module in Inverter Selection. Once on the Add Inverter page, enter the name of the inverter. The name can be something as easy as inverter number 1 or something more descriptive for larger installations with multiple inverters, like inverter 1 Westside. Next, select the manufacturer and model of the PV inverter. Enter the number of maximum PowerPoint trackers and which CCA will be managing the inverter. Enter the MPPT data for each inverter, including the number of strings per NPPT and if there are uneven strings in the design. Once the inverter information is complete, add the module information by tapping on Manufacturer and Model. If you are using a PV inverter or a module that is not on the drop-down lists, then click on the plus sign on the upper right corner and add the required technical information. You can always come back to this page and update any of the entries. Once all inverter and module data are entered, Tap the green Add button at the bottom of the screen. Tap the back arrow at the top of the screen to go back to the commissioning menu. Notice the Select Equipment option has a green check mark. Now it is time to configure the site layout. For small systems, the app can be used while on site to complete this part of the commissioning. For larger systems, it may be more efficient to use the EI Portal Site Layout tool covered in a previous lesson. Tap Configure Layout on the commissioning menu. This is the layout canvas. You will tap and then position each component of the system, including PV modules, the inverters, and the CCA. Any items entered in the previous commissioning steps will be on the bottom of the screen, ready to be placed on the canvas. To begin, 
tap the Place option. Next, touch the CCA icon at the bottom of the screen and then tap anywhere on the canvas to place. Select a pointer on the toolbar to move the icons after they have been placed. Continue by pressing the inverter icon and placing it on the canvas. Now comes the fun part. There are two ways to place PV modules on the canvas. You can tap the PV module icon at the bottom of the screen and place each one individually. Or you can tap the PV module icon and then on the canvas, touch, hold, and drag the box to place entire strings of modules. If you start running out of room on the canvas, use the magnifying tool on the toolbar to adjust the grid zoom. It is highly recommended that the PV module placement mirror the actual location at the installation site. It will serve as a map for future maintenance and troubleshooting. Select the pointer on the top toolbar to move modules into their correct positions once they have been placed. Once all modules are placed, it is time to add the Tygo TS4s. There are two methods for TS4 entry. Regardless of which method, you will need the stickers that were placed on the site layout sheet or cardboard discussed in the installation lessons. The fast and easiest method is to scan each sticker using your smartphone camera. Tap on the module, then select the barcode icon at the bottom of the screen, and then hold the camera over the corresponding TS4 sticker on the sticker sheet. You can change the serial numbers at any time by tapping the trash can icon and re-entering or re-scanning the serial number. Once you are done with this step, tap the back arrow at the top of the screen to return to the commissioning menu. Notice that the configure layout option has a green check mark. Select configure communication. For this step, we will connect to the CCA using either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You may still be connected to the CCA if you see the blue bar in message at the top of the screen. There are a few things to note before getting started with this step. Only use the Tygo EI app to connect to the CCA. Never use the smartphone's Bluetooth feature to directly connect to the CCA. Once your smartphone is connected to the CCA, it will show up in either the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi screen. Tap on the CCA to continue. Now that the smartphone is connected to the CCA, we can now configure the CCA to connect to the internet so that it can send data to and from the EI portal. There are two options for this connection, Wi-Fi or a hardwired Ethernet connection discussed in previous installation lessons. To connect the CCA to the internet using a Wi-Fi connection, touch and drag down the screen to initiate a network search. Select the customer's router from the network list. The network test is optional, but it will confirm the connection to the Tygo server. Tap the green Next button at the bottom of the screen to continue. Now we are in the final stages of commissioning. This last phase is called Discovery, and it is identified at the top of the screen. During this phase, the CCA queries the Tygo server for the configuration file to begin the process of searching for each TS4 entered in the previous steps. This query and reception of the file can take some time, but it is usually complete within a few minutes depending on the network quality. Discovery automatically begins once this file is received. A message will appear stating Discovery will run in the background, and it's now safe to close the app. 
You can log back in at any time to check on discovery progress. Depending on network quality, it may only take 5 or 10 minutes for a system with 20 to 30 TS4s. For larger systems with hundreds or even thousands of TS4s, discovery could take up to 24 hours. As discovery runs in the background, tap the back arrow on the top left corner of the screen to return to the commissioning menu. Notice the configure communication now has a green check mark. Now we can add users to the system so they can view the system on the EI app and the EI portal. Tap the System Access option on the commissioning menu. Now tap the plus sign. Enter the email address and the name of the site owner or the other users in your company who will have access to this site. This step is optional and can be entered or edited at any time. Saving the information will send an invitation email to set up and view the commission system or it will add the user to the system if they are an existing user. And that's it! You've now commissioned your system and you can view it at any time, anywhere in the world using the Tygo EI app or EI portal.